Hello dear students. In this video, today I am going to discuss two of the very important methods which are frequently used in answering or attempting multiple choice questions in competitive exams. Now it's not always that you can solve all the numericals, all the mathematical equations which are given. Sometimes you have to see the options which are given and these methods are particular to multiple choice questions. The first method which I am going to tell you is the elimination method. Now see this is a problem based on ages. The age of a father is three times or thrice the son's age. Five years ago his age was four times the son's age then. The present age of father and son are. Now see we are given that age of father is three times the age of son. So the first equation will be a equation in two variables obviously. Now see 60 years, 20 years. Now age of father is three times the age of son. So it can be a possible answer. But it is not that easy because in all other options also see 54 and 18. 54 is three times 18. 45 is three times 15 and 30 is three times 10. So the first equation does not give you any particular answer. Now let us see the second part. 5 years ago, so we are talking of the ages 5 years back. So 60 becomes 55 and 20 becomes 15. This is the ages 5 years ago. So what is the condition? His age means father's age was 4 times. Now see 55 is not 4 times 15. So your option number A is eliminated. Now 5 years back this is 49 and 5 years back this is 13. So again 49 is not 4 times 13 as given in the question. So this elimination uh, of the second option takes place here. Now see 4 years back, 5 years back this is 40 and 5 years back this is 10. Now see 40 is 4 times 10 which satisfies our second condition. So your option number C is the answer and you do not need to take care of the D option. Now the second method of solving the equations particularly this is for equations or uh, solving particular or factorization uh, of uh, particular polynomials. Now see this is substitution method. Now in this problem we are given a polynomial. Now see this polynomial is 3x square minus 2x minus 1. So obviously it is a quadratic polynomial and we have two zeros of a quadratic polynomial. Now the two zeros of this polynomial are we are asked to find the zeros. Now see if we put x equal to 3 in this this is substitution method we are substituting x equal to 3 in this. So 3 into 3 square minus 2 into 3 minus 1. So this is 9 3 is 27 minus 7. So this is 20. So obviously our answer does not come out to be comes out to be 0. So first option is eliminated. Now just see x equal to 1. If you put x equal to 1, 3 into 1 square minus 2 into 1 minus 1. So 3 minus 2 minus 1 is 0. So obviously x equal to 1 is one of the zeros. But again the answer is not that simple. The, uh, anyone who makes the question paper he uh, increases the degree of complexity for you. So the first 0 obviously is x equal to 1 but it is given in all the three options. So you have to check the second 0. Now let us check minus 3. 3 into minus 3 square minus 2 into minus 3 minus 1. This is 9 is a 27. Obviously this will not come out to be 0. So our second option is also eliminated. Now check minus 1 by 3. 3 into minus 1 by 3 square minus 2 into minus 1 by 3 minus 1 which is 3 into 1 by 9 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 minus 1. So 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 it is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So this third part is your final answer because x equal to 1 is, uh, is a 0 and minus 1 by 3 also satisfies this polynomial. So you see by little bit of uh, knowledge of these two methods elimination and substitution you can solve a wide variety of problems in competitions so if you like the video share it and subscribe the channel